morning guys welcome to another vlog I am currently on my way to the craft store um, today is Monday and I actually have a shoot for my podcast cover I've been shooting a lot and I'm just gonna decide at the end of the day because if not I'll use the other photos for your, like press stuff or like whatever but I have a new vibe and a new vision that I want so I'm excited and I found a photographer in Dallas that I actually think is so cool but I am just very specific on like the vibe that I want I just hadn't found a photographer here that I I felt like I really loved and it wasn't like just like more bloggery stuff which is great it's just like not my vibe you know so anyways I'm on my way to Joann's this weekend guys was so good I took the weekend of vlogging because I just done vlog week and I had another visitor on top of Dom's who Allie is here Dom's here and it was like everything I needed to like just literally like I mean conversations where we like cry like it was so good Anyway, and the election results came out and it was just like honestly a great weekend So I'm feeling good going into this week and I am really excited If you guys haven't already be sure to subscribe. I just really feel like talking to you guys so I keep rambling on but um love you guys Okay This is exactly what I want you can't really tell here, but it's awesome love I'm actually really impressed. The fabric is everything that I could have wanted. Like the perfect shade, the perfect texture, all that. And I got a Christmas mug because I just had to. So I'm feeling good. Also that made me want to learn how to sew. My mom's a designer and had a company. My grandma's like the seamstress. So I would always go to their shop and like watch them. Then I was in the fabric area today. There were all these cool fabrics that would be perfect for blankets that I would like and like pajama stuff i feel like it could be cool and now i want to learn how to sew i already texted my grandma so okay here's my really cute christmas mug that i just got i'm gonna make iced coffee I need to make breakfast too or else I will like die. For Here is what I am using. I'm actually going to do iced coffee. So this is the iced coffee we got when we went grocery shopping. You guys saw in a recent vlog. The grocery shopping experience was very stressful. I'm pouring this as I'm just looking at my Christmas tree. Oh guys, I also set some stuff up in my office that I'll have to go show you. We've got a new Christmas tree. You can't see me. I feel like what the Fairly Odd Parents, but if you can't see the parent's head, that's what I feel like right now. We've really been liking this creamer, dairy-free, I believe. I mean, it's almond milk, so I would only assume, but I say things and then people hate me, so. Little splash. It feels weird to have iced coffee out of a mug like this. Like, I normally will drink it out of glass, but. Cleaning up this morning, I cannot, this is like a little fun fact about me. I literally cannot handle clutter to the point where like, if there's things on my counter, I lose my mind, but honestly, it's just because I'm so affected by my environment and that's what like really sparks like, anxiety for me so i just am always cleaning because i just have to and not in like an obsessive way just because like i know that i feel better when things are clean like i don't like any mess at all like even i have this fabric bag out because it's part of my shoot later which i guess i'll show you guys right now and i just don't like it it drives me insane there's been dishes in the sink and like i don't do dishes in the sink and i finally just did that and i randomly hate doing dishes i already talked about this I used to not mind it and now it's like my least favorite thing anyways this is the fabric that we're using for the background of the shoe for like one of the looks i think we're only doing two um and i'm just so impressed because this is exactly what i had in mind and i was worried that i wouldn't be able to find it and it was so great and it was on sale and now i want to be a seamstress so all right guys, I just showered, but two office updates. Well, first off, look at the dogs. So cute, right? Um, update on this chair. I absolutely love it. I spend so much time there. I read there, I work there. Like, I just absolutely love this chair. It's originally from Crate and Barrel, but I got it off Facebook Market. For those wondering, but just look at how handsome he is too. Oh, okay, anyways, that is my Christmas tree for the office. I need to cover the cords. It's actually driving me insane, so I think that that, I mean, I know that that's on my to-do list for the week. And then I also got this clothing rack because I really just needed something visual for clothes I either need to shoot in, just got gifted, or, you know, whatever. This is a package from Revolve. I'm about to do a haul with it. But this is the perfect size. Like, it literally couldn't be perfect. And my office is really small, like, as is. And so this was, like, literally the perfect size. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. 
um, but it's really helpful so far, even with just like random things. And I, I'm such a visual person, so when I go into my closet to try to like put together a cute outfit, it's so like almost overwhelming for me because there's so many clothes. Even though I got rid of like half of my closet this weekend again, um, it, it's not even that it's, there's so many clothes. It's just that like. For some reason, I completely blank on any of the outfits that I wanted to wear before. So what I'm going to start doing is pulling inspo online, putting my outfits together already, and then just having like options right there. So that is the update on the office. It's feeling great. The dogs love coming to work with me. By the way, the set that I'm wearing today is from Girlfriend in this color and then a lilac color. And I feel like I wear them all the time because I will normally wear workout clothes until I do 12 through 30 throughout the day. So normally I will just throw on like workout clothes until I... 12 through 30 and then I'll like change or whatever so every morning I pretty much put on like something to work out in because I normally work out in the mornings um anyways I like this set a lot because when I'm going in public it's like not as workout -y, you know what I mean okay uh, another thing I've been using Olaplex um hair products and I've been loving them my hair looks so wet when I'm letting it air dry this isn't sponsored but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Revolve I'll link everything below as always first thing I got love this sweater I just think it is so cute like Oh my god, I love a little quarter zip, like, sweater. It's just really great. You know, me and my Cameron Diaz vibes. This fall, winter season, we have this long sleeve. I think this is super down, right? Yeah, and that was LPA. This is super down, and I just love a good long sleeve top. I might even throw this on today, just kind of over my sports bra, but so cute. I got it in a size small. I wish I would have gotten an extra small to make it even tighter, but it is so soft and just such an easy thing. Having like a tight long sleeve, which all of my long sleeves are loose, is so important because they're so flattering and they're like such an easy thing to throw on. Speaking of long sleeves, I got one that wasn't tight, but this is just a white long sleeve. It's a little bit cropped. This is actually what I'm going to put on today. Um, it's really, really good quality. I just think that having white tops is like... I'm always getting white basics because I ruin them, honestly. But also because you can never have enough. I got these pants from Girlfriend and they are expensive, okay? Um, this is a gifting haul, so thank you to Revolve. But they are so cute. They're just these leather pants. Love them. I need to take them in to get them. Um, they're too long on me, so I need to take them in. So I'm excited for them to like fit even better. I think I got a size small. And, oh, I got a size 27. And honestly, I would have gone down like a size or two in these and I'm normally, I feel like I'm very true to size 27. Got this cropped little turtleneck that is so soft and just cozy. I feel like I've gotten such great sweaters this year from Revolve. This had matching pants as well, but honestly, I just like the top and so cute. It's ribbed as you can see and it's just like a really good everyday sweater. I just like live in turtlenecks in the fall season. Then I got this black long sleeve that like ties up so when you wear it, it like would tie up right here. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this is really cool. I like this. I thought it would be cute, especially to wear with like sweatshorts or something just to add like a little bit of something to your outfit. I got this sweater, which honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a limited two sweater back in the day, but this is from Super Down. It's really, really, really soft. I think it's cute. Super Down is like a less expensive brand on Revolve. So I would definitely check out this sweater. It's just like a good staple to have. Nice white sweater. And then last but not least, this is my most exciting thing that I have picked up. I finally got a long cardigan. And long cardigans, guys, like this is like everything I've ever wanted and more. Um, and the quality is incredible. This is from, oh, this is House of Harlow. Um, but I just love it. I think it's perfect for like mornings when... You're just at home, you're wearing like pajamas, Uggs, you have this sweater on and you're like drinking your coffee. You know what I mean? But I love this sweater and I know I'm going to wear it like so much. Is it for, oh no it's not actually. And I got these brown pants and the shirt is in my uh, laundry basket, but these are really cute. I'll insert a photo of me wearing the whole set. It's House of Harlow. It's brown and I don't really wear that much brown. So that's why I was excited to get some brown in my closet. Um, and then this just came with a brown like tight long sleeve and I can wear these together or I can wear them separate or whatever And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. So I love those. I literally cannot get over how perfect this dog is He was just smiling fits look. Oh My gosh, you are just the most handsome man ever Okay, last but not least. Ooh, this is so zoomed in Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys my looks for my shoot today So I'm wearing this set which I got from Bridge Girl a few months ago and I've worn it once but I originally got it for a shoot 
never did it and I'm like you know what I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna grab my acrylic cowboy hat as a prop I need to clean this but like that's so fun right and then um for the next for the other look this is the sweater I'm wearing it's just very like cute sweet wholesome you know what I mean and then these are just the jeans that I'm going to wear with it. But that is the plan for today's shoot. I have those all put together. All right, guys. So I'm going to do my makeup for the shoot today. It is currently now 1.17 p.m. I'm in the middle of making lunch. It's just taking forever. Ali and Dom and I have been working downstairs. I actually just made like ha i mean probably like six or seven gift guides i'm working very hard on gift guides and that's been like my thing all morning long that i've been working on but i wanted to film doing my makeup for you guys I'm starting off of course with my absolute favorite primer the becca backlit primer this stuff is amazing i've talked about it so many times before but it first off is just great as a primer but second it gives you this beautiful glow um, when you put it under like literally anything, but it is one of those like secret holy grail products that I just love. I can't decide what foundation I want to do. This is too light, but then I'm like, do I honestly like, I feel like when I'm doing a shoot or something where I like really want my makeup to look good, I end up just like putting on more and that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to end up liking it more. I know I like Rare Beauty a lot though, so I am going to use this. Coco, have you? Do you have a boner? What's up, girl? Also, the mirror from my Marc Jacobs bronzer is the best one. Oh, not blended. Okay, so I really do like the Rare Beauty foundation, by the way. It's like my current fave, I think. I actually, I don't really wear foundation like that often, though. So I'm not like the biggest critic, you know what I mean? On concealer, this is like one of my favorites. I don't have the right shade of it right now, but we're just gonna do Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I've used it for years. Recently, I've just been doing, like, this isn't technically baking, but it is. I just do it with a brush, and I don't do it as extreme, but just enough to where it, like, gets the job done. Next, bronzer. So, this is my favorite bronzer from Marc Jacobs currently. I also love these brushes. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill set. I'll link them down below, but... I got a new brush up recently because I hadn't gotten a new one in years and I just really needed it. Okay, I'm like trying to put on like a little bit more makeup. I feel like anytime I film my makeup, it looks 10 times worse than when I just do it outside, or like off the camera. Got some blush in cosmetics. Bye! See you soon! Oh, I'll try. I have an hourglass powder. I love this powder and this is just kind of what I use when I end up like going all over my face and getting the baking powder off. I just can't explain anything today also it looks so much better in the mirror than it does on camera which is not a good sign given that um i'm getting on camera becca champagne pop an og a classic if you will highlighter throwback to this right now i'm just gonna brush out my brows my brows are like pretty full so i normally just use clear gel i haven't filled my brows in in years remember when that was like a revolutionary concept i'm gonna try instead of using the lipsticks i feel like I want a little bit, I don't know, I'm gonna try to just do lip liner and lip gloss and see how I like that. Yeah, I feel like this gives me more of like the natural-ish look I'm looking for as far as lip color. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. And my mascara is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's really big, at first I didn't really love it, but I actually love it now, it's really great. Okay, so I need some Q-tips, uh, that's for sure. So I'm going to curl my hair right now. It still is drying. I didn't even really bother towel drying it, so that's why it's still drying right now. Guys, oh, I just kind of woke her up on accident, but she's just been sleeping there. So cute. Okay, I ate lunch. I did my hair. I just did it how I normally do. Really simple, really easy. This is how I curl it with my Babyless Pro. This is the one and a quarter inch. I just curl all the pieces, let them sit for a second, then I go through it with my fingers and then I hairspray and that's it. It takes me like 10 minutes. Thank you. Um, I can't believe that it's like literally 70 degrees. It is so hot and miserable. Actually, it's not hot, but here we are. Hello. Um, oh, shoot. I might not be ready for this. Do you want to do music? Because I can't really handle that today, but no... Um, it has to be like pump up, no like we're fun and like 
um, driving on the PCH and like think that we're like in high school kind of thing. So let me no, because I listen to all that music at a certain period of my life no, and it triggers me. Let me explain I love it, to you but it what me. Kenzie means by that. Dom, don't play your depressing music. In no, I'm, not even. I don't. I'm just. Kidding. I wouldn't even say it's depressing. It's just that like it takes me back to a period of my life that I don't want to revisit. Okay. You know. Let me like for example. Here we go. She does it. She just actually only plays that. No, no, no. I'm trying to, like, for real. Like, I'm trying to be serious. These people hate me because I didn't ask how they were for the first time ever. I literally just said, hi, can I just have a... I didn't I didn't even say... I didn't ask how they were. That's so rude. No, you're fine. Okay, play, like, is this song out of control? I want, like, fun music. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm... It's not fast enough. She hates it. Okay. No, I like it, but it just takes. You know when you listen to a type of music during a period of your life, and then that period of your life was horrible. Yeah. And so then you listen to it, and you're like, take like when you in LA, I was like, oh my god, I literally feel like I'm back in this time period. Yes. So it has to just be a certain. Okay. What about this song? Like maybe Megan The Stallion. Okay. It's not that I don't like the music, dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just listening. Look at our nails. We got our nails done this weekend. Doms are cooler than mine. I got neutral for my shoe. Okay, they are kicking us out of this. Rich, but I'm ratchet. I thought you changed the song. No, Thank you. She's trying to disrespect me. Guys, we're back. Don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches. I just raise my price. I'm a boss. I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater. Guys, we just finished the shoot. Um, it was incredible. We love Hannah. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me today? Okay. <laughs> okay. Dun -dun. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, y'all, Hannah ain't playing with y'all. No, she's so good and she's also, so like, cute. Oh yeah, she's so talented. Like these videos are just so good. Thank you, thank you. And these photos too are really cute. Honestly, I might pay Rush just because I am excited. Like, look, you yeah, just are kind of like on the Just so fun. Okay, so Hannah, I like am not the person to not share something because I don't want them to get popular. So then, like, they'll network with me. But, um, we're, we're gonna have to keep her on the down low. I'm just kidding. We just love her so much. No, we love her. She's like literally so cute. And Dawn walks out and she's like, good thing we know her before she's famous. Literally, <laughs> because good look. Look at so... like just the setup that she was having Kenzie on. Ugh. These are my personal videos that I took of Kenzie though. And just get you a best friend that does this for free. I, I I'm really just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, guys, I, this is how I pay my rent that I don't pay um, by doing this. Look, she looks so cute. Little Kensington. Um, I'm giving your BTS away. Oh, thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm going to post those in this vlog anyways. I'm having some problems with my TikTok. Love it. All right, guys, finish the shoot. Now we're at Target. We're going to Target. Dom says she wants to get new pajama bottoms. You don't realize how monumental this is. Dom has been wearing these Pop-Tart. Wait, what are the other ones? They're min. Okay, minions well, or no, they're minions. But I don't minions. Have to let people know that. No, we're. You say that you're willing <laughs> to expose. Off, yeah, exactly. So you're about to get used to it. Um. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> guys, it, out of context, that sounds like I'm just. It's not for my own personal gain. It has nothing to do with me. It really does. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> kidding. I'm like. Anyways, um, yeah. So, anyways, Dom has had these like. I'll show you them later. These like pop tart PJs, PJs since very, the eighth grade. They're literally cropped. Like, She's 22. I, <laughs> no, yeah, but they're not supposed to be cropped. They're not right? supposed to be cropped at all. At all. So it's really exciting because she says she wants to get new pajamas and she likes yeah, what I do need new she's PJs. been seeing at Target, I guess. So that's also, exciting. Also guys, I, when I was at Target, they have like cute puffers and stuff. So yeah, girl, they have good stuff. We might I do need a to get, haul, but we're not going to. No, we might. I need to get a few more Christmas things that they were out of I last time. I got a trash can here the other day. Ooh, that's exciting. Dom, I found pajama bottoms for you. Look. Oh, these are cute. Look. Love a good. <gasps> love. Love this. Oh, love this. Uh, I've never had a matching set before. 
Actually, yeah. I have, but like. I'm getting, I'm gonna get you like a really nice matching set for Christmas. So. That is cute. All you keep just only buying that stuff. Literally, like this looks so ridiculous, and it's about to be fixed. Okay, doing a Target haul. Got some more wrapping paper that I think will go with my scheme. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I keep saying scheme as if like I'm scheming. You know, I'll also link all this below. We got three stockings. Me, Fitz, Coco. So cute. They're gonna like go here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to FaceTime my mom to like figure out where they're really gonna go. Cute, okay. We got this garland to then match over here, which will be great. This one particularly is in the Magnolia section. I got two new pairs of pajamas that I didn't need at all, but these are festive. So I thought that was cute. Oh, I got more ornaments, but it's not for the tree, it's for this bowl, so I'm gonna use only specific ones in here, like these two rows, and I'm gonna make my centerpiece for my kitchen table that is my festive centerpiece, which I've been waiting to do. Oh, guys, okay, I got this vase just because it's always hard to find like vases that I like, but this will be cute for like, I have a vision, okay, just trust me on that. Oh yeah, I got sparkies, okay. My other pair of pajamas, these were only $30 a piece. Like that is such a good deal for a like pajama set. Here we go. We're gonna make, um. You guys wanna see my pajamas? Oh yeah, Dawn did get, well she didn't get a matching set. What do you have against matching sets? I don't have anything against them. Clearly you do. I mean. So everyone, I'm taking and doing a little channel takeover. Just kidding. Oh, poof. I look like a Viking right now. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the hair, you guys, but it's because the hair is in front of my face. Okay, I got these. Oh, I did it. Okay, and they were twenty dollars. Hi, twenty dollar PJs. You better not delete that out. Trust me, I love them. I need the views. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. Yeah, whatever. Someone's gotta do it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, guys. So I didn't have enough of this green stuff that my mom gave me to like attach it. So like obviously this needs to go up one. But this is what it is right now. Love that. So festive. Okay, so this is what we have for the centerpiece right now. Um, ignore that stuff will get downstairs, but this right here, cute. We've got that little bowl from Target, some ornaments, and then I just have this next to it because I need like I always need a candle in these here, so I just kind of have to have them here. But I think it's really cute. Wow, guys, I lit the candle, I just changed into my Christmas pajamas. These are not as um crazy, you know. I'm gonna put on some YouTube videos and get started on dinner. Guys, I'm excited because I have more recess drinks and I've been out. I finally got a new package. I'm gonna have the peach ginger and Stella sent me the cutest PR package, which I showed you guys on Instagram in stories um, and a little bit in the vlog, but also I have these cute new glasses that I love. These are my hemp drinks that I drink. They're really good to wind down. If you deal with anxiety at all, these help so much. You guys can use my code Kenzie for 15% off. Um, but these help with my anxiety more than anything does. And it's really nice to like have this experience at night, especially as you're cooking and just winding down. I always use the Modern Proper, or not always, but like nine times out of 10, my recipes are from them and I just love them. So I think you guys would really like them as well if you're looking for recipes and then also, I will do like Instagram reels and stuff as well and like tag their Instagram and stuff like that, but it's the best. Oh my God, I didn't even know I needed a food processor. Thank God I just got one. All right guys, this is way too much food for me right now. I'm not even that hungry, but I just put it over pad thai noodles. You can eat this over rice or whatever you want. Um, I just had a rice drama earlier today, so I was not gonna make rice. Anyways, it's tofu, cabbage, broccoli, peanut sauce, vegan stir fry. It's really, really good. And the peanut sauce smells so good. Okay, dinner was so good. I'm having this liquid IV sleep multiplier. Honestly, this one tastes really bad, but I'm gonna have it tonight. All right, guys, so it is now like 9.30 p.m. and I'm going to do my skincare. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I've been doing. This is the cleanser I've been using. I like it a lot. Um, I don't think any cleansers are like 
absolute holy grail i've never really found one i do like this like it does the job and it's not drying which is really important the next thing i've been using is my sunday riley ceo glow this stuff is pricey i got it during the sephora sale but it is the best vitamin c serum i have ever used it is so moisturizing it makes your skin like glow it's just the most like beautiful serum ever and then at night i use my a cosmetics confidence and your beauty sleep um so this is a skin transforming pillow cream and i really like this it smells really good and then it's just this like really nice product so that's what i do every night and then i put on my laneige lip mask which i already have on um, I'm surprised that my makeup has lasted this long, so I will be taking that off, but I actually really like how my makeup turned out today. This is how I normally do it. I just feel like I don't do it enough, <laughs> so I like forget what it looks like, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm just gonna read for the rest of the night, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon.